Oak Species 7 here. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to my Let's Play. This is Hexit, episode 5, I do believe. And, uh, I've improved the place a little bit since last episode. Some bookshelves, or, uh, shelving from Bibliocraft. Kind of a cool thing. So all the gear you might need before you head out. Some food. And on the bookshelves here, these bookcases, all of these are real. As you can see, you can have a look at what's actually on the bookcase. So that's kind of cool. Over here I have my smelting books, a couple more enchantment books. Um, these lamps are also from that. They're the only thing that's a little bit expensive, as they do cost a bit of gold. Nothing terrible, but a little bit. A little bit. So, um, armor stands. Put your armor on. <laughs> cool. Now, um, I do a couple of things I want to show you. Um, one is how to get one of those, which is an ingot mold. Now, when we make up our patterns, you can see one of the things that it didn't give us was an ingot mold. To do that, you actually need to take some blank patterns that are made out of the uh, aluma brass or aluminum brass and go to your pattern. If we put it in here and go to next pattern, there you go. And you'll see that's the only one available. There we are. And I do actually want another ingot mold, so. And then of course they work like any others, you just simply throw it on there. There. And then if you want ingots out of whatever you have melted in here, you can do so. So there you go. Um, now I did show us last series, oops, um, how to get all of these things done up, right? Like a pickaxe head, you're going to require some stone or something similar. So I'll give you a quick, quick, quick going over. Uh, figure out where I put all my stone. There we go. Uh, marble, gravel. Do I not have cobblestone? Hmm. Yeah, I know I can make them out of obsidian, but it's kind of a waste. Huh. Just straight cobblestone. No, eh? Maybe over here? Uh, I don't see it. Huh. Well, that's kind of weird. So I did uh, melt down, or smelt, I should say, most of my minerals. Hmm. Well, that's just freaky that I have no cobblestone at all. So... Do -do 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 -do. There's always cobblestone around. There we go. That will be enough to get us started on what we want to start on. Okay. So... Now, with a little bit of stone, we can take our pattern, we can take some stone, and we would get a stone pickaxe head. So, now, what we need to do is, uh, yeah, let's use these. Um, by the way, another nice thing about smeltery if you have items like uh, iron picks or axes or a piece of armor or whatever, you can throw it in the smeltery and get your ingots back. So that's kind of cool. Now we are going to to get the pattern so that it can be cast in metal. You just need to pop it down there, and as soon as we get that smelted, good deal. Pour that in when it's cool. 
you now have a pattern for a pickaxe. So you can pick up your stone pickaxe head, store that here, and we now have an ingot cast and a pickaxe cast. And you do the same for any of the parts that you want. And the only thing I'm not sure of, because it was a little bit different on the last iteration of this mod, is that there's no pattern for a tool rod. So, I'm going to assume since a tool rod is a stick, no, I, hmm. So that doesn't work. Oh. That's a sword. Okay. I didn't miss it. Tool binding. Knife blade. Chisel head. Tough tool rod. Tough binding. Hmm. Alright, well that's a little odd. String pattern. Fletching pattern. Arrowhead pattern. Oh, tool rod. There we go. Huh. See, there's, uh... These are all new. So I'm going to assume that what they've actually done now is they don't add these until you get that second book. Alright. Before I go too far, I gotta make sure I'm not making repeats here. No, that's definitely new. I know the bow stuff is. Perfect. Okay. So you do get your tool rod pattern, it just doesn't show up until after you've done your other your ingot cast pattern. So good. We have them all. So basically that's all you gotta do. Now when you want to cast a a pickaxe head because we have one in a certain metal you would simply throw the metal in there and uh, you'd throw your metal in there and cast it just like that I'm just gonna get rid of the rest of these and that's it I do believe this is empty now. Yes, it is. Perfect. So, we can add this aluminum brass. As you can see, uh, my copper, my iron, all of it. And it's much easier to melt it down into blocks. Because, of course, you can throw a block in a casting table and instantly get nine ingots. That's a lot faster than actually doing nine ingots. So, there we go. Now, is it daylight yet? Not quite, eh? So, by the way, to grab these things, you do have to have an empty hand. Hmm, doesn't want to grab the boots for some reason. It's kind of odd. There we go. <laughs> and we have our boots on. We're all magnetized. All right. I guess that's daytime. Hmm. I guess we should have a sword. Show you what else we've done. Done a fair bit of uh, clearing up and cleaning up of the area. I put down some more satellite built a few more of the or meteor I should say meteor shields and put those down well I need to harvest my farm <laughs> it's actually done very well uh, a little bit of fancy woodwork out here with my weird pool which someday I'll show you guys how to make one of those and I have put up my portal to the nether I hear a spider I don't see him and a portal to the twilight forest and again just so I don't get everything destroyed the heck is that oh it's a burger don't okay. care I have uh, a couple more meteor shields in place so uh, yeah my nether portal wow 
it showed up floating basically on top of some leaves of a tree that grows upside down in the nether and beyond that there's like a 400 foot drop to death on all sides so it took a little bit of prompting to get that happening i haven't stepped through the twilight forest one yet so but we will we will um did a little bit of improvements on the top too thing i'm just trying to keep um most of the less desirable elements a little bit away from me if i can that's all so uh, what else did we do built a little ender backpack and i've got my other two packs so let's put those where we want them pick sword and yes i will be making tools with um the smeltery to replace all of these oops but i didn't want to take a whole episode doing that this time we will get to it uh, what else yeah i might as well take a spare one of those and that i don't think i'll bother with the bow and we'll need some food steaks yeah steaks will do so damn near a broken pickaxe i can go there uh, do I not have an axe? Oh, really? Huh. Well, that won't do. So, just quickly. Do 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 do. Throw an axe together. Just a plain iron axe. Nothing fancy. Because what I'd really like to do today is a little bit of adventuring. Oh, damn. All right, well, this is a perfect example. <laughs> oh boy, it's nice that that thing will just randomly melt things. Because sometimes I am just truly too dumb for my own good. There we go. Let's see if we can remember how to make an axe. Something like this. Ooh, there we go, an axe. All right, I think without further ado, let's go have a little explorer, shall we? Those little yellow balls, those are your meteorite shields. Just lets you know that they are active, I guess. Ooh, some berries, nice. Whoa. I don't recall that hole being there. Huh. Although I have heard some meteors come thumping down. Hello, spider. We'll just kill you, huh? Zombie! Anybody else? New? New? Ready? What's that I see? A little bit of iron. Well, we'll take that. That's part of adventuring. There we go. One block of iron. <laughs> Zombie boy! Nookie dookie. Actually. <laughs> Chunk down these berries. <laughs> All right. Do, do, do. I do believe this is my passage into the great wide open. So let's take it. There we go. We. <laughs> Okie dokie. A little bit of bouncing around here. Get around the corner. Hmm. 
Well, there's quite the waterfall. This is where I was coming to get clay and sand, so fairly helpful area for resources. You know, there's something that I don't have around my place that I wish I did. These weird plants that just give you random items. And sometimes give you no items. Alright. It takes a little while to actually get to a clear area here. There's a creeper, that ain't my favorite. Yeah, he's not coming for me. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I have a whole garden full of these, I don't even know if they're worth picking. But hey. Oof. That looks like a fresh hole. A little bit of redstone. I say the stuff is so common. And right out on the surface. So cool. Let's see. Kind of a funny hole. And another one of these. Well, that one had one of those little hearts. Don't think I actually needed it, but... <laughs> Some of these holes are quite random, and I think they're probably caused by meteor strikes. Let's say you can... At night you can hear the ones that are really close. And I'm pretty sure if I didn't have those shields in place we would have been hit at least once or twice by now. So, there's some incredibly neat things to run into in this game and we just don't seem to be having that sort of luck today. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I could have could have, should have, would have gone somewhere other than the coast, maybe. Oh, hello, chicken. Chickens, sheep. Oh, we get some kind of buildings going on over there. And some over here as well. Whoa. And a huge cavern. See, these things just randomly give you stuff. Okay, now the sun's going down. That I can't say as I particularly like. So, eeks. Um, there we go. Not very convenient timing, I'll tell you. Not at all. Further in here, shall we? Hmm. 
I can hear zombies groaning. Just because we didn't eat cobblestone. <laughs> really really short day cycles I don't know why seems like the night cycles last forever and the day cycles are really short so I can't say as I'm a big fan of that well I can hear zombies that uh, tower over there I think is probably pretty nasty that's where we're gonna go have a quick look here if we ever get some daylight so Meanwhile, I do need cobblestone because I used all of mine doing my little terraforming project back at the house. So. And it's certainly not going to put much of a dent on my pickaxe. Ooh, look at that. A little bit of gold. And this is why I don't mind that things like those lamps take gold, because gold is pretty freaking common too. <laughs> yeah. Gold, diamonds, redstone, all the rare stuff from the other mods. That's the common stuff here. Copper and tin? Oh yeah, you gotta go down to like level 21 to find those. <laughs> okay, that big boom was a meteor strike. And it's still middle of the night. Hmm. Now when I started today, the right beginning of the day cycle, we got this far, now it's already night. And it looks like it wants to stay that way for a while. So... <laughs> Nothing super valuable here. A little ore. Cobbly. Uh -huh. Iron ore, some gravel. Good enough. Throw this out of my way. Okay. Come on, daytime. Damn. Creeper boy. Alright, well, obviously. Life waits for no man. There we go. There's what a fresh meteorite strike looks like. It's just kind of weird. Huh. Oh. Let's head over there. Let's see what we get. Alright. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have creepers sneaking up on me. I've already been in here and kind of toned these, uh. but yeah, that's uh, 
Oh, there we go. Apparently the blazes have spawned. So, I don't want to get hit by them too often, I'll tell you. Oh god, I need food. There we go. These skellies I hate, man. One more heart and he would have had me. Alright. Damn, my sword ain't gonna last much longer. So I think I probably should have brought a better sword. Whoa. I don't know where those guys came from. They apparently don't like me. Hmm. Alright, well. Daylight gum. And I need a few more hearts. Uh-oh. Okay. This is apparently some kind of fortress. There we go. Sorry, folks, didn't mean to swear. Damn, I need to get away. Yeah, this messed me up. If you break a glowstone up there, yeah, it kills you. Well, not really, it just drops you into a pit of TNT, which is a good way to kill you. <laughs> now I have to find my way back here. 
Damn. Wind Essence, Darkness Essence, Star Piece? Wow. Well, we did get some weird gear. I'll give it that. So. Let's try and get the... Uh, good stuff yeah. into our ender pouch that way if something hideously horrible happens and them choco birds I've been here before. Surprisingly enough, my armor didn't take that bad a beating. Huh. So, as we continue to have a look about. That was kind of freaky. We'll have to go back there, but wow. We're going to need to, uh, as I say, I need to get to proper tools built in the smeltery and then we'll actually be okay um, then we'll actually be in a position where we can uh, think about going in there and maybe hammering on those guys a little bit uh, Oh, that's just odd. It's with the cobblestone. Hmm. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Whatever works, works, I guess. Yeah, see, somewhere on the other side of all these cliffs, that's where we actually get to hang out. Mm-hmm. So yeah, other than that, it's a fair ways to get back home, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of adventuring anyways, so just to show you that not everything is sitting inside working on mods. See, there's not a lot of machine building and such in this mod pack, so other than Tinker's Construct, which is going to get me the gear I need to actually go out and do some decent exploring. Which is what we need. Here we go. Huh. Mm -hmm. well, maybe that's not my entrance. <laughs> I'm in the wrong place again, man. Yeah, it's definitely not my entrance. Although I have obviously been in here. Oh. Ah, okay. That is one of my entrances, what do you know? Whew. And we're back. So there you go. A little bit of an adventure out there today. And get to show you what we've got going on here, what's new. So I think we're going to leave it at that so that it doesn't take me a week to upload this. Next episode should have some decent weapons and I will show how to upgrade some of those in the meantime if you're following along and tip for today redstone and lapis make blocks out of them because you're going to use them mostly for upgrading weapons and such and if you want to do it one piece at a time it takes a long time but we'll deal with that on the next episode until then Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.